In today's demo, we're going to see how we can use IBM Business Automation Workflow to run a process with intelligent task prioritization by building no code UIs and views and integrating with multiple systems within the same platform. We will also see how managers can track and manage processes in teams using out of the box dashboards to review the progress and to do some additional actions. We're going to start today with the demo with the day to day view of a business user, which is the task dashboard, which is the screen that we're seeing right now. So this is a complete customizable dashboard where each user is going to receive the different tasks that he or she needs to complete on the different processes of the organization. For this specific example, I only have two pending tasks and I can see some information related to those tasks like the client, that a specific task, the process that belongs, the priority, the due date, the creation, and the team assigned of the task, right? To start a new task, uh, what I need to do is just click on the task name and it's gonna open a new view, which is what we call coaches, which is the actual task. So the coaches are customizable forms, which the purpose is to guide you and help you to complete your task, reducing the human error and the time it takes to complete these steps. As you can see here in the top button of the coach, we have a brief description of what we need to do for this specific step. Again, these coaches are totally customizable. In this case, we have some information and what we need to do is just review that everything is correct and process the payment, right? Once that task is completed, then it's going to be deleted from the task list and we can go on and complete the rest of the of the task that we have pending. So how those tasks are generated or created? Uh, well, we have multiple options in here. It can be either uh, automatically based on via an email or a message event or something like that, or we can also start the process instance manually. So here in the left far, we have the start AP process button. And once we clean that button, it's going to actually start a new instance of this process, right? Here we have a different example of, of a coach that, that we can create using this tool. So this is completely different from the previous one that we just see. As we mentioned at the beginning, uh, we can use IBM a business automation workflow also to integrate with multiple systems in the same platform. Uh, these integrations can be to either auto populate some data in the coaches, like in this example, uh, we are doing an integration with the Google API to auto populate the city and the state based on the zip code, right? And we have multiple views for the, for the coaches where we can add some drop down list. Uh, again, to reduce the, the human error and reduce the time to complete the task. Another option that we have is that we can also work with documents and integrate with a different application. By uploading a document, we can automatically populate the information that it's provided in that PDF. As you can see, we will have automatically the invoice number, the contact name, and if we take a look at the other uh, panels, then we will have the part numbers that are required, the items, the zip total, Again, doing some calculations in real time if we edit the values and so on. So once we review the information and complete the step, then we will submit it and we will see that a new task will appear in the task list or in the task. Once we start completing those tasks, for example, if I open again the review invoice, again, we're going to have a, a different note with the steps or, or what we need to do for this specific step, which is basically review the, the invoice values that, that are correct. We can also take a look to the document that it's going to be framed in the platform and continue with the process, right? So in this case, let's assume that everything is correct so we can approve the invoice. And what's, once it is approved and we finish the review invoice step, then the next step of the of the flow would appear, which in this case will be the process payment. Is the system keeping track of who is doing which tasks so that audits can be performed? Uh, definitely. You you read my mind. So I'm gonna switch to the manager's perspective of the tool, which is going to be the process performance dashboard. So in here, if we go back, we're, what we're going to have in here, it's all the processes that are currently in my instance. 
and mm. we can take a look and see uh, how many instances we have active, how many of them are in overdue, at risk, and on track, right? So for this purpose, let's open the accounts payable process. Uh, again, we're going to have the pie chart, which is going to tell us how many instances are in each state. And if we select one of them, then we can take a look here in the right part, like which specific instances correspond to that stage. So in this mm -hmm. case, we only have one in overdue, uh, which is going to be the Viva Airlines AP uh, process instance, right? But also we can have a, a more general view uh, or a more easy way to understand where my instances are if we use the diagram tab. So which is gonna actually show me the flow on which base the process is, is currently working off, right? And we can see where my instances are on, on that specific process, right? Yeah, a bottleneck on process payment and an overdue task on review invoice, but everything else is seemingly going well. Exactly, yeah. So again, we can take a look. As you said, we have six a task on the review invoice. So maybe we can, we need to review what is happening with that team. And again, if we select, then we can take a look here in the right part, which are the instances are in progress, right? We can also not manage only based on the process, but we can also do the managing based on the teams, right? So if we go to the net out of the bot dashboard, which is going to be the team performance, uh, it's going to be a similar view that the previous dashboard, but what we're going to have in here are the multiple teams that are in my different processes, right? As you can see, we have two teams involved uh, for the accounts payable process, which is the accounts payable team and the accounting. And we can do the, the same thing that it's going inside the specific team. We're going to have, again, a similar view where we have the pie chart, where we can understand the how many tasks are in overdue or are on track how many are open and here in the roster we can see like the members of our team how many tasks they have assigned and how many they have completed in the day would it be possible to reassign the overdue task to a different person yeah definitely so if we go to the to the next step which is the team task again we're going to have the list of all the the task available for that for that specific team. As you can see uh, in this example, well, for example, Jared has nine tasks assigned to him. So maybe he has a lot of work and Jose only has two. So what we can do is select one of the tasks, in this case, the review person inspector invoice. I can click the reassign button and I can either decide to assign that back to the entire team or assign it to an individual member. So in this case, I'm going to assign it to Jose, which is the person with the less amount of, of tasks assigned. And you will see that this will automatically update the, the information and this new task will appear in, in Jose's dashboard. Uh, we can also do more in detail and modify the task by updating the due date in case we have uh, some of them in overdue. Or we can update the priority of the task. So they were going to appear on the top of the of the list so they know that they have to complete those first. So for example, if we set the priority to very high, then that's going to, again, automatically save the, the information. And this will be updated in the, in the dashboard. So if I go back to my dashboard, we will see that a new task will uh, appear. In this case, the review invoice for the person inspector client and the due date was was updated to and the priority. So I can start sorting this by by priority. So I know which ones I need to complete first. 